In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on May 14, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Philadelphia Phillies vs. New York Mets The Philadelphia Phillies are one of the hottest teams in Major League Baseball right now, having won eight of their last ten games. Their performance on the road has been particularly impressive, as they currently sit seven games above .500 when playing away from home. On the other hand, the Mets have struggled at Citi Field, holding a record that is two games below .500 on their home turf. The Phillies' starting pitcher, Aaron Nola, has been remarkably consistent, allowing two or fewer runs in all but three of his starts this season. Nola has a solid career-earned run average of 3.4 against the Mets and has excelled on the road with a 2.29 earned run average. In contrast, Mets starter Jose Butto has had a tough time against the Phillies, giving up 13 runs over 14 innings in his career. Given that this game is a day game following a night game, the momentum clearly favors Philadelphia. The Phillies managed to tie Monday's game in the ninth inning by rallying against the Mets closer, Edwin Diaz, and eventually won in extra innings. The Mets have struggled offensively at home, posting a .618 OPS, the lowest in Major League Baseball, while the Phillies have the best road OPS at .763. Philadelphia enters this matchup as one of the top teams in the MLB this season, with a 14-6 road record. Conversely, New York is just 10-13 at home, and their pitching staff has been inconsistent recently. Given the Phillies' high level of play and a favorable pitching matchup, the Philadelphia Phillies money line is our full game side pick. Expect a lower scoring affair due to the day game after a night game, which often sees lineups featuring more backups. Both starting pitchers have limited opposing hits well this season. Aaron Nola is holding hitters to a .235 batting average, while Jose Butto has been even stingier, allowing just a .186 average. The bullpens should also perform effectively, with Philadelphia ranking 20th in the majors with a 4.37 earned run average, a significant improvement after years of bullpen woes, and New York boasting the third best bullpen earned run average at 2.89. The Phillies are not expected to score as many runs as usual, given Butto's impressive home era of 2.28 and 23.2 innings this season. Additionally, the Mets' pitching has been formidable at home, limiting opponents to four or fewer runs in eight of their last ten home games. The Mets' bullpen has been outstanding, maintaining a season earned run average of 2.8. Offensively, New York has struggled, scoring four or fewer runs in four of their last five games leading into Monday night. The under has hit and eight of the Mets' last 10 games. Consequently, runs will likely be at a premium, making under the projected total our full game total pick. New York Yankees vs. Minnesota Twins The New York Yankees face off against the Minnesota Twins in the first game of their three-game series held in Minnesota. Both teams are deeply involved in the playoff race, with each vying for the top spot in their respective divisions. Lately, both teams have been performing well, each securing victories in seven out of their last ten games. Chris Paddock will start on the mound for the Twins, having won his last four starts. Remarkably, Paddock has allowed one or fewer earned runs in three of these outings. His current earned run average stands at 4.34, but his expected earned run average is slightly lower at 4.03. Additionally, his FIP is 3.99, with an even more favorable XFIP of 3.52. These advanced metrics suggest that Paddock has encountered some bad luck and may see his numbers improve. On the Yankees' side, Carlos Rodon is set to pitch against a Minnesota lineup that excels against left-handed pitchers. The Twins rank in the top 10 in batting average, on-base percentage, slugging percentage, and on-base plus slugging when facing lefties this season. While Rodon's earned run average is 3.56, his expected earned run average is a higher 4.52, indicating that his current earned run average might be due for an increase. This presents a challenging matchup for Rodon against a team that has performed well against left-handed pitching. Paddock has been exceptionally dominant at home this season, showing a stark contrast in performance compared to his road games. At target field, he boasts an impressive earned run average of just 1.17, and all three of his quality 
quality starts have come at home. In 22 innings pitched at Target Field, he has struck out 31 batters. Additionally, the Twins have emerged victorious in each of his last four starts overall. Conversely, the Yankees' Rodon has struggled on the road, making five starts with an earned run average close to five and allowing 27 hits in 23.2 innings pitched. The Twins are likely to capitalize on Rodon's tendency to give up home runs. Heading into this series, the Twins are one of the hottest teams in MLB, while the Yankees have maintained one of the best records throughout the year. Minnesota holds an 11-8 record at home, whereas New York is 14-9 on the road. The Yankees, boasting the second-best team earned run average, will rely on Carlos Rodon who has had a solid season so far. Meanwhile, the Twins will depend on Chris Paddock, who, despite some struggles, has delivered three excellent home performances in a row. Given these factors, the Minnesota Twins' money line is our full-game side pick. As previously mentioned, Paddock has maintained an earned run average just above one at home this season. The Twins have played to the under in two of their last three starts. Similarly, the Yankees have a 2-2 two -two record to the under in their last four games leading into Monday's opener against the Twins. Ronon has allowed three or fewer runs in four of his last five starts, suggesting a competitive and closely contested game in the second matchup of this series. Chris Paddock's exceptional home performance is expected to continue, and Rodon has also been reliable, allowing only two runs in his last start. While both the Yankees and Twins have strong offenses, this particular game is likely to be low scoring. Neither team is expected to score more than three runs, which will be the decisive factor. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Kansas City Royals vs. Seattle Mariners As the second game of a three-game series in the American League unfolds, the Kansas City Royals are set to face the Seattle Mariners at T-Mobile Park on Tuesday night. This report is being drafted as the initial game of the series is in progress. The Kansas City Royals have struggled mightily against the Seattle Mariners, losing their last six encounters. Additionally, the Royals have been particularly unsuccessful when playing in Seattle, dropping their last seven games on the road against the Mariners. In contrast, the Mariners have been formidable at home, securing victories in nine of their last 12 home games. Kansas City starting pitcher Michael Wacha has been underwhelming in his recent performances, conceding 21 hits and 14 runs over 15.1 innings in his last three starts, during which the Royals have lost two out of three games. On the other hand, Seattle starter Logan Gilbert had a tough outing against Minnesota recently but had four consecutive strong performances prior to that, allowing just three earned runs over 27.2 innings. This season, Gilbert boasts a 2.94 earned run average with 54 strikeouts and 52 innings pitched. The starting pitchers for this game exhibit a stark contrast in their effectiveness. Michael Wacha has struggled significantly, pitching to a .282 batting average against, whereas Logan Gilbert has held opponents to a much lower .186 batting average. Even when the starting pitchers leave the game, the Mariners have a superior bullpen, ranking sixth in the league with a 3.2 earned run average, compared to the Royals bullpen, which ranks 14th with a 3.87 earned run average. Given Wacha's struggles, the Mariners are likely to perform well offensively. Michael Wacha has not lived up to expectations so far this season, and it is doubtful he will find his form against a strong Mariners lineup. While Logan Gilbert's recent performances have been mixed, he has been exceptional at home this season, maintaining an earned run average under two over 20 innings. The Kansas City Royals have been profitable as underdogs this season, but the Mariners' home field advantage and superior pitching make them the more favorable choice. Although I supported Kansas City in Monday's opener and it did not pan out, it is difficult to back them again here. Latcha has not provided the stability expected when the Royals acquired him, struggling in his recent outings. Conversely, Gilbert despite a recent hiccup, has been reliable, especially at home. Thus, the Seattle Mariners' money line is our full-game side pick. Kansas City's Michael Wacha has an earned run average of 5.15, having allowed 25 earned runs over 43.2 innings pitched. The total runs have exceeded the projected totals in Wacha's last two starts, with 19 and 14 runs respectively. Similarly, Seattle's games have consistently gone over the total, with each of their last six games and eight of their last nine games against Kansas City surpassing the expected totals. Moreover, the last five games Seattle played against American League teams also ended with higher totals. In May, both teams have struggled on the mound. Kansas City is tied with the Pittsburgh Pirates and Tampa Bay Rays for 15th place with a four-team earned run average, while Seattle ranks 21st with a 4.45-team earned run average for the month. 
Offensively, both teams are effective with runners in scoring position. The Royals are second in the majors with a .301 team batting average, while the Mariners rank 14th with a .262 average. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.